Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I'm incredibly late today. I'm quite sure you've noticed. If you look at the time that this is coming up, it is almost 10 a.m. And while I'm recording this, so it's probably going to be around 11 or so. I decided to eat something before I upload, and I made more than I thought I did. Anyway, we're going to be going over some rules horror. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Escape. You wake up in a daze, head pounding with a mouth drier than the desert. Before you have time to gather your bearings, an intercom buzzes to life somewhere above you, and an inhuman voice begins speaking. Hey yeah, friend! Welcome to the escape room! You'll be wondering where you are, but I don't really care! I'm sure the minor detail of you not knowing where you are could be a bit stressful, but worry not! It might be explained at some point if I feel like it. You aren't alone, obviously. Your friend should be waking up momentarily, but in the meantime, I'll explain everything. Well, some things. <sighs> Rule numero uno. If it looks like something, it, if it looks like it shouldn't be touched, you're probably right. Rule two. You have sixty minutes to escape each room. Although if you do something to displease me, I'll subtract time. Rule three. Keep it interesting. If it wasn't obvious enough, I brought you here for my entertainment, so make it fun, or I'll do it myself. Rule four. Make sure. Actually, nah. I figure it'll be more fun to watch you figure out yourselves. Oh, and just a heads up, the timer starts when everyone wakes up. Speaking of, good luck! The intercom um, cuts out, and as the last bits of consciousness fade, eight, eight from the strangers around the last bits of unconsciousness fade from the strangers around you, a large LED timer begins counting down from the wall. You are confused, and after assessing your group, five, including yourself, you fill the rest of the strangers in. After they gather their wits, you or a group begins to work working on various puzzles. Addled by a new ooh environment, they barely managed to beat the first room. Congrats! I'm honestly surprised! Most of you would make it this far! I can tell I like you guys. Anyways, I forgot to mention, you gotta choose someone each time you finish a room. Nothing bad will happen, but uh, just go ahead and do it, alright? Your group chooses a random member and nervously wait for something to happen. After minutes of nothing, they seem to be fine, so you enter the next room. Nothing strange seems to happen, although you feel as if you for have forgotten it's something important. With a better idea of what is happening, you and your friends complete the room with a much more comfortable lead. You allow yourself to hope that you might get out of this alive. Good job! I mean, really, this is beyond anything I could have asked for. I mean, in crap, as a actual puzzle solving, you all did things I haven't ever seen before. Wow, this has been great. Keep it up. Oh yeah, and before I, I forget, choose. Your group chooses a red member and nervously wait for something to happen. At the minutes of nothing, they seem to be fine, so you enter the next room. Similar to the other rooms, you and the strangers grasp the, the solutions fairly easily, and gain yet another victory with a comfortable lead to boot. That was meh, I guess it alright, but like I said, keep it interesting. Is that really so hard to understand, you freaking idiots? Bring your ear is starting to feel like a waste of energy. Choose. The three of you sell on a stranger as you wait nervously for something to happen to him. Nothing does, so you move on. You feel frazzled. You've gone through so much with the stranger you woke up with. It isn't hard to tell that you are both getting exhausting. Uh, exhausted. As the glowing light once again flares, the remaining time before an unknown fate, you and your partner set to work on being in the room. As you finish it's up, you notice that you cut it a lot closer than before. Okay, I'll admit, that was good. 
it never fails to surprise me how even an inferior species so can so easily think of such wild solutions. Good on you. Anyways, the next round will be the last. Choose. You and your friend settle on choosing her. As thus far, nothing has happened anyways. Well, you can't help but be ecstatic as your barely functioning minds can only take so much more. You both step through the door. The final room is much smaller than the last. And although your sleep deprived brain appreciates it, you're confused by it. You've completed the last few rooms alone. Why is it so... Oh, easy now. The, your train of thought is cut short by a time in the beginning, and your brain going into overdrive for the finale. You blaze through all the puzzles and use all of your brain power. As the clock ticks down to the final minute, you give it all you, that you have, and right before the clock hits zero, you complete the final puzzle. You did it! I truly can't believe you, you... I truly can't remember the last time someone was able to complete all of this. The last group only made it to the fourth room. Group? Why are you forced- Why were you forced to do it alone? While I am impressed, the sad truth is that I can't let you leave here. If it makes you feel any better, you really were one of the most entertaining groups yet. So, for the final time, I ask you... Choose. I choose you. <sighs> this seems like it's going to get into something that will bug me, or, or is this going to be odd? And the story is called, Remember, this is a female dorm. And males don't exist. It's always safe in there. Some parts are adapted from real world cases. I'm not sure of what, but go off, I guess. This is a list of regulations posted by the door of the, wo of the women's dormitory. As one of the female students who just entered this college on the first day of school life, yes, that's me, even though I am not in college. You saw these weird rules. Welcome to our college and take, take over this dormitory. The following rules are your duty. Please keep them in mind. If you are found to violate it in any of these provisions, you will be disqualified from the scholarship or outstanding student selection. Rule 1. The dormitory security measures in the school are excellent. So you don't need to lock the door before sleep at night. If a dorm asks at, if a dorm staff asks you to close or lock the door, please ignore it. Rule two: The dorm staff wear black uniforms. We don't have any in green uniform. Don't trust the dorm staff in green. Rule three. Hot water is only provided in the restroom of, of the dormitories from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Please make sure to shower between each between such times. If there is still hot water in other times and with light yellow color with fishy smell, now find a black girl who sat on the ground floor and she will help you solve it. If any toiletries is in the restroom is broken, you don't need to report. The male staff in black will repair them for you. Wait, but rule 4 literally just contradicts the last sentence of that rule. This is a female dormitory building. No males in existence. Rule 5. Don't post any photos on the wall, especially those of males. 
Fleas always believe that the world is scientific. That that seems kind of random. Is this a turfy post? Rule 6. No clothes can be hung in the dormitory unless it's on the clothesline on the balcony. Rule 7. Fleas don't buy and use bed curtains. Ends in room currents. No one should care about such things. Rule 8. Dorm expectors from senior work regularly check the dormitory hygiene. Please make sure that at least one person is in the dormitory on this day. Rule 9. Believe that the dormitory is the safest place. No one can enter against your will. They have master keys. It's not safe. Rule 10. Don't switch dorms with anyone. All dormitories in this building are for personal ones. Please remember that the number of people would only be less, never more. Never enter a dormitory with four pe with more than four people. Oh wait, that rule has been eliminated. Rule 10. There are not only four person dorms in this building, but also six and eight person. If any uh, suggests that you visit these dorms, you can't refuse. You have no right to refuse. Please be sure to grant their request. Rule 11. The students in, in this building have a good relationship, and there is no bullying behavior, no matter what abnormal sounds you hear. Please don't get any close, that's just rehearsal. Unauthorized approach regarded as discipline breaking. You enter the dormitory, you find that this is indeed a dormitory for four, but including you, only three people living it. You later heard that it it was because Aruba dropped out of school because she was not used to dormitory life. You looked around your dorm while everything in was as the note said. You see the opposite dormitory through the window. Without curtains or bed curtains on any bed, roommates hung their clothes on the clothesline on the balcony. After making the bed, and simply, you lay on the bed and rest. But right at this time, you notice that there, there seems to be a piece of paper stuffed in the gap of the bed board. This is some dried up blood for quite a while. I need to use the sword handwriting. Uneasy thoughts come to your mind. You decide to expand it and see its contents. Really unfortunate, mate. I can't believe you did come to this place. If you still can, apply for a withdrawal immediately. And don't hesitate. If it's already too late, please always keep in mind the following survival rules. Freshmen 1. Freshmen are most likely to be in danger. They especially like freshmen. Don't be caught by them. You won't want to know what, hap what will happen next. 2. The dormitory room is not safe. They have master keys and could enter at any time. Be sure to buy a solid bed curtain. Make sure they can't enter. Three, don't call dorm don't call the dorm staff or the police. They are all accomplices. This will bring you into trouble. Four, don't hang your shirt on the clothesline. Don't hang any fine clothes on the clothesline. Don't. Just don't. Five. They are all wrong. Green ones do exist. Black ones don't. 6. Males exist. Males exist. Males exist. Be careful. Please be aware of them at any cost. 7. At any time you encounter danger, remember an unoccupied dormitory is somewhere. Find and get in. Then lock the door. It's safe there. 8. Don't open the door when the dorm inspector comes. Hide, hide, hide. The instructions in this, in this note made you more confused, but you didn't think about it. 
At around 7pm, you went to the restroom for a shower, but the shower head was there. The next day, you checked again. I mean, the shower head was broken. The next day, you checked again. You found the broken shower head was in inexplicably repaired. Strange. You obviously hadn't reported it to anyone. Soon, you got quite scared when you find the words, You are next, written with marker pen on the restroom wall. You always feel that somewhere, a male figure in black who seems to be looking straight at you. Is it is true, or is it just a psychological effect? And again, as long as you follow the rules on the note, you should be safe, right? I don't know if the writer is like... not good at grammar or something, because I did not understand most of this. Maybe it's just the, my autism? Oh well. What to do if your clock turns to 12.60am? I don't really have time for much more of these. So you're in your bedroom and just check the time and you see that your clock says the time is 12.60 a.m. You must be confused, but don't worry. If you follow these simple rules, you should make it out just fine. But if this occurs while you are unfortunately asleep, side door will need nothing I can do for you. After about two hours, your clock should go back to normal. When it does, you can do with whatever you were doing. Firstly, you want to make sure all of your windows in your bedroom are closed and then shut and lock your door. You cannot leave until we are finished. The lights will automatically turn off when we start. Do not try to turn them back on. It only makes it easier for him to find you. 2A If for any reason you foolishly turn the lights back on, even though I warned you, since you've alerted him, you must easily go and hide somewhere. He is going to enter your room. You must stay quiet. He has a very good hearing. If after a while he finds nothing, he will leave. And then you can leave your hiding place. 3. You must check any mirrors in your room. Um, if you see anybody other than yourself, don't look it in the eye. If you do, it will over each other and pull you into the mirror. You must destroy the mirror if this happens. If you have no mirrors in your room, lucky you. You don't have to worry about this. I don't think I have any in my room. 4. Ignore the scratching on your in the walls. It's probably nothing. 5. If someone you know knocks on the door asking to come in, do not let them in. There's someone you know in your house right now. 6. If you hear music being played in another room, you must say loudly, I do not like this song. Please turn it off. The music will stop playing. If you do not say this, you will find your ears suddenly are not connected to your head. 7. Don't look at the moon. Every once in a while, check outside and look at the moon. 8. After 1 hour and 30 minutes pass from when we started, he will knock on the door. You must answer. Do not be afraid of him, even though he is 8 feet tall. He will ask you for a body part. All you need to do is say is, I'm not done using that, and he will usually just grunt and leave. If he doesn't leave, just hope you aren't too fond of the body part he asks for. 9. After two hours have passed, everything will go black and then and return to normal. You are back in your own world now. If you follow all the rules, you will have made it out just fine. Two more. I really hope they're not that long. I need a drink. <sighs> Beautiful. How to survive! Need an easy, concise guide on how to continue living? You're lucky, you know why? Main guide, let's start with simple concepts. Brushing your teeth. To start, make sure you have the following. 
Clothes. A toothbrush can be purchased at your nearest store. Teeth. Paste. One. Grab your toothbrush in your dominant hand and apply the toothpaste. Usually enough length to cover the tip of your finger or with wise onto with a toothbrush. Make sure it is a side with bristles. Two. Open your mouth wide, but not too too wide. You don't want to end up like. Three. Raise your hand and place top quarter of the toothbrush in your mouth. Make sure the bristles of the toothpaste touch your teeth. Four. Move in a circular motion, applying slight pressure to your teeth. Do this for about three seconds and move on to move to the next tooth. Five. Once you are done, move the toothbrush up so it touches the upper half of your mouth. If you don't feel teeth, then move the toothbrush up so that it touches the upper half of your mouth. If you don't feel teeth, then six. Repeat step four until you have brushed every tooth in your mouth. Then find the sink. Spit directly into the sink and turn on the tap. If the lights flicker, immediately turn off the tap. You remain silent. Once the cluster is functioning normally, the lights will switch back on and you can continue. Seven. Escape the toothbrush from your mouth and remember to continue entering and exiting the water from your mouth. Eight. Ignore rule ten. Nine. To take the blade, place your hand and on the handle of the door, then I've to subscribe to the a newsletter. Follow rule ten. But there is no rule ten. Okay, that was an odd story. <sighs> I found how to create a wonderland. It's not as beautiful as you think. So I found out how to create a wonderland for my imagination. I've learned its rules and workings. Here are the rules for entry. First, along with the steps out for it. There's only one main rule, it being to be indoors when doing it, lest you want your reality to be replaced with the imagined reality. Nobody but you will realize the change occurred. But none of the rules about being in the Wonderland apply. Note that nobody from outside the space is you choose you chose can enter, just like it's impossible to leave without dispelling this fake reality. Now here are the steps. First you grab a piece of paper and write, make my world my make my world real. And hold on to it in some form so anyone looking at it could read it. It can be taped to you. You have to focus on the world you want to be in. Next you have to close your eyes. They won't do it otherwise. You can tape the piece of paper from um, earlier to your face, you just skip this step. Once you open your eyes, the piece of paper should be gone and you should be in the world that you imagined. Here are the rules for being in the Wonderland. 1. Never sleep in it. They don't like to create Wonderlands so people can sleep in them, and they are quite hungry afterwards. You might read the meal if you don't follow the rule. Number two, don't try and control the reality. You might have created it, but they are the owners of it and don't like people acting as owners of their creations. Number three, after some time, the Wonderland will grow distorted. Leave this reality ASAP. In order to leave, you need to attempt setting part of the Wonderland on fire. If you don't leave when the distortions start, you might become part of their eyes and be forced to watch the next victim. Number four, make sure to express your, your thanks to them before any form of rest. They don't like not being thanked for taking the time to fulfill your wish. Those are the rules you need to follow to stay safe. Now for the rules that the Wonderland follows naturally. Number one, 
Upon leaving, you will once again have the piece of paper you used, but with the scenery from the wonderland you made. It's never going to stop existing, so you can return whatever you want. Burning it only unbinds the nature of that world. Note that returning gives time I'm for the sources to reset. Those whose paper were called by me Eldritch Prince. Number two. Look closely at, at each Eldritch print you get if you visit Wonderlands often. If it shows any grotesque scenery, burn it now. You don't want to see where that print leads. Number three, you can bring back anything. Any things, knowledge, etc. from the Wonderland, including things that shouldn't exist. You need to hold on to them when dispelling the Wonderland. Huh. Looks like that's it. Ow. Rest in peace for your eyes, I guess. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was Rules Horror. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!